So when you got a big old cotton tree like this, <coughs> excuse me, what do you get once a year? Well, you get cotton flying through the air. So it is cotton season. Thank, thankfully, I am not allergic to it. But I know some people are. And you can see it just floating through the air. So I wasn't going to film, but just Carb Rob told me that he'd bring his uh, bazooka to Canada and shoot me if I didn't film. I'm not going to be filming too much. This is a piece of hemlock. I thought it was cherry wood that I got from the beach. It's a piece of driftwood. This piece of wood is hard as friggin' concrete. I Once I discovered it was hemlock and seen all these cracks kind of forming here, I said, well, and hemlock wood is twisty too. You can see these cracks aren't just straight up and down there. They kind of go like this. I said, I'm going to... I'm going to show you a picture right now of a green man that I quickly carved out of um, friggin' what's the name of that wood? It's the name of the wood. It was soaking wet. Then that's there. That's the name of the wood too. There, it's from those trees. Uh, I forget the name. I'll know it in a second. It will come to me. So um, I wanted to try and replicate it. Not replicate it, but do the same kind of idea. But so since this wood's such hard wood, um, I was on the fishing boat. I was fishing crabbing yesterday on my buddy's boat. That's why I stopped working on this. But this face is more aimed that way now, and I wanted it to aim this way. So I'm gonna have to go. You can see how much depth I got carved in here. It's, I carved lots of depth. Even my die grinder, you can see that it's burnt the wood. So I'm going to have to keep going with this, try and improve this face. It doesn't have enough, um, I'm just not happy with it yet. It needs more depth. I think what I need to do is carve these eyebrows way down, sharpen my saw, even though this wood is so freaking hard, you got to have sharp saws or you're just going to, you're going to be battling yourself. I got some new pants anyways. So um, I'll sharpen my saw and we'll try and get this finished. Uh, my, I would, I just did it because I want to have fun and I want to paint this. I'm going to, it's not going to look like such a simple face when I'm done. I'm going to carve weird things in the face and stuff too, right? Anyways, I'll, Freaking sharpen my saw, my gas saw, and I'll carve some more, and I'll show you. I'm not going to film me what I'm carving. I kind of want to take my time on this piece. I did want to do a wood spirit down there, but we'll see. So, I got the 500i out of the shop. It's up there. Uh, warranty. Basically, Echo covered the warranty. But I had to pay a few dollars because they said I blew up the saw, the fried the engine because the oil, I'm not going to get into it, but I got the Echo saw back. Um, I got a box of pens from Amazon. I go through pens so much, I figured I might as well buy a box so anybody shops in my Amazon store. Thank you very much. You're able to let me buy things like this. So this is not an easy carving. You can see how deep I've gone inside here now. Like, the depth in there. Oh. I don't want this to be a normal face. I'm going to put like a... I don't really want it to stick out like a wood spirit in there. I want it to kind of like... You have to kind of look at the piece to see to see there's a face inside there. I might even carve some hairs coming out here like this now too. 
So the wind's blowing this way and it's pushing the hairs this way too. But now I think, see this is why I wasn't going to film because I kind of, I just don't, don't know what I'm going to do. I think I am going to carve a wood spirit down here. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, happy Sunday. This will be Sunday's video. <laughs> Hi, Liz. So this, I think this piece of wood's probably like 250 pounds. This is a heavy, heavy piece of wood. Oh, it's just such a solid piece of wood. It was a struggle to get it on this, uh, this uh, engine hoist thing I got. You know, like, I've showed this on lots of my videos, but I suggest for anybody that's getting into a chainsaw carving, get yourself one. I bought this at Canadian Tire, but it's important to be comfortable when you're carving. Because when I was carving this uh, earlier, I was on my seat kind of bent down. So now I'm going to carve this face in. You can see I'm at a better height, right? I do have this piece of wood screwed to the wood down here. Like I got this screwed to the metal, then I screwed it in the back. So it's it's pretty stable. But yeah, I'd say this is about 250 pounds. Uh, the big thing is I'm so spoiled carving cedar. It's so soft compared to some of this other wood. Some of you might say this stuff's not that hard, but uh, well, it's pretty freaking hard. But I'm not in any rush. I'm just kind of here getting out of the house. Doing what I love to do, carving. Anyways. Okay, so carving this wood, um, it's it's so chippy. I'll, I'll bring the camera in here sooner. Show you guys so what I mean, so chippy. I got to spend a lot. One thing I thought about and I progress, I, I processed when I'm lying in bed editing my videos and stuff like that. I think when I do the, you know, like it seems like when I do the Dremel carving, my wood spirits are always, if I try, my wood spirits are always better. So I think I need to start using the die grinders. Like this is the, uh, this is the Makita 800C. They create a lot of dust, and at, when I'm doing my Dremel carving, I got my dust collector table sucking in the dust, dust, so, you know, I love using the die grinders and shaping everything, but I need to start spending more time with my die grinders to refine everything better. When I'm here with a chainsaw shop, I just want to use my chainsaws all the time and just chainsaw, 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 not even have to use the die grinders or Dremels, because I always feel like I'm rushed, but... It's time for me to slow down with my die grinders and my Dremel tools when I'm here. You know, like, yeah, sure, I got to blast off wood spirits because people still buy them. And I got to have, when somebody wants to buy one, I got to have like three or four to say, yeah, I got these ones. I can't just say, well, I got this one. Well, I could, but it's nice to have more than one. So I'm going to really take my time. And I don't care if I don't finish this today. I can still carve all here too. But I'll bring the camera in close and show you guys what I mean how chippy. And the hemlock is really twisty wood. So you can see by the cracks there how twisty it is, right? Like, look down here. But a chippy is like this. See these chips here? It's just, it's just so dry. And um, it's almost like it's kiln dry. But look, this is chippy right here. Watch. See that? So, when you got wood like this, it's better. Look at all this chippy stuff here. Better to have sharper chains. And the deeper that you curve inside the wood, the less chippy it's going to get, I think. But I'm not going to film, but I'm going to... Oh, yeah, so I carved kind of a face down here, too. So it's kind of like... Whoosh, see that? Then this one's deep in here. So I'm going to spend, I don't know, maybe even spend a couple hours with my die grinder. It's just about having a good time and, you know, that's why I'm here. 
because I want to have a good time and enjoy what I do. I could even almost try and make that. That almost looks like a lady's, could be a lady's face up there, but the nose is way too big. And um, I could refine it, try and make it silhouette of a lady. So it's like a friggin' sauna in here. The sun's over there now, so I got no protection from the tree. And I got to close the tent door so the light doesn't come in here when I'm filming. So I probably spent about, I don't know, just kind of enjoying myself four hours on this piece. I showed you guys a, a thing here where kind of sparks were coming out of the eye. Because I cut a little slit in the back. But then I realized that I had to sharpen my saw. Let me try to explain. So anyways, I'll show you the face. Well, let me show you the eye. So this eye, I guess there's a rotten spot in the wood. I don't know if you can see through there. But it goes all the way through to where I put the slit. Oh, that's where I cut it. I cut it all the way that deep. That's how, sorry, that's how deep I carved it. I put a slit because I can see a square mark in there from my chainsaw. So I was going to do a relief carving on the back. Let's see. Stand by. So you can see I started a relief carving, but then I realized it would take me an hour to do because I got to sharpen my saw. But maybe you can see there. Let's see. Look, look in there. You can see through the eye. I'm surprised I didn't cut through the face. So when I was burning back here, so I wanted to heat it up to try and get it to crack back here. The smoke started coming out of the eye. See there? Anyways, story of a carver. So, um, artistic creation. Here's an artistic creation. This one I kind of did the eyes different. I just did whatever I wanted to do. I did some carving in there to kind of make it look like a face. This guy's all right. I'm not done with this though. I burnt the outside to show you guys. That's a loud plane. The hemlock. See how it's all twisty and cracky? Let me show you. See it? And then I got my flap sander and sanded. Then I got my orbit sander and sanded some high points so it kind of looks spooky. But I, I didn't carve this just to carve it. I carved it to paint it. You guys can also see I did a cut in here. Just did some swoosh cuts. I like the bottom face. I don't like the top face too much, but that's okay. Let's paint it. I wish I had some brown here. So I'm going to paint this whole thing with green. And um, yeah, let's. Who cares? Have fun. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a green man now. Let's just paint the faces green first. So we know we got that covered. There you go. There you go. I'm friggin' limited without the brown paint. So I don't know. I got some yellow here. Maybe I should just stop and get some brown paint first. I think I don't know what I'm going to have to do is get paint all this the uh, dark green first this is called having fun like I'm I'm not I'm not I didn't carve this piece to try and sell it I carved it for myself Yeah, but it would have been nice to have some brown.
Then I got this, uh, I used to do this on my Christmas trees. I got this clear coat. And I spray this on here. And, and it makes it so you can blend blend the paints in. I think what I'm actually going to do with this, see how that, it's kind of like a black wash. It releases the paint again. This clear coat stuff. So yeah, let's get it. Let's give it. <laughs> it was some more yellow. <laughs> more yellow. And we'll do a black wash on this tomorrow. And we'll hit it with the clear coat. Some people are probably like, you ruined the carving, Jordy. I'm like, I, I don't care. You don't you don't learn if you don't try different things. I do wish I had brown here though. But it's okay. I don't. Now uh, where's uh, some black? Got some black here. I got a spray inside this where I cut deep there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No, I better not. Don't do it, Jordy. I'm going to spray that. No, nope, don't do it. We'll give it a black wash tomorrow once this paint's dry. Don't do it. I was going to spray the whole thing black. Well, could try it. But you know what? I want to get a little bit of red in there first. Yeah, why not? <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> I got to open the door here. Man, just wrong now. Okay, so let's get some red in here. Clear coat again. Don't care. There you go. Now oh, things are starting to pop. Just having fun, right? Let's get some more red. Uh, so we just focus red on the face. Yeah, I think so. That's, that's okay. Um, let's get some lighter green here. No, no, don't do it, Jordy. Let's put some yellow here. Clear coat. Shit, not even on camera. Sorry. There, I think that's pretty neat. Then tomorrow we'll do the black wash. She be done. Just use acrylic paints for the black wash. So if I was going to have this piece, I'd aim it that way, like well, when I put it in my yard. Or that's pretty cool too, like that. I, I like it like that. Kind of reminds me of something. I um, wonder if I could do a little bit of a, that's it. I got to open this door. I got to open that door. wonder if I can do uh, spray paint. Uh, I know what I'll do. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the whole thing with clear coat. Then I'm going to spray paint it black. That's what I'm going to do. Who cares? Oh, we're having fun. Let's just do the top first. Go figure, the spray's not even... Clear coat. Come on, baby, come back. Yeah, there you go. Black wash with spray paint. How's that? Just carved Rob. Huh? Make sure this is on camera. Okay, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, this is how I did my pumpkins. Since oh. You need to be fast when you do it. It's a shame I'm not allowed to put anything with that paint on it in the spirit trails because I mean I could make that place so colorful and awesome. I like it. What are we going to do? No, don't do it, Jordy. I need to get some more green. I need to get some more colors in there, though. That black wash kind of took everything away. There's the point of going too far and having it just enough. I think right now it's just enough. <laughs> I gotta take a break and step outside for a minute. It's kind of native to me. I like it. I think it's cool. Wait till I put clear coat on this sucker. So, here's a close-up. Could uh, spray it more black in there. Don't care. You can see through that eye. Watch the eye. Looks like it's kind of watching you. There's Jordy having some fun. I'm going to go home and eat some crabs. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, what am I carving tomorrow? I don't know what I'm carving tomorrow. But um, talk to you soon. Carving fusion. Over and out. Got to clean the shop again. I just cleaned it yesterday. Don't leave your door open. You'll get cottonwood trees growing in your car.